your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Good morning, toasters. Good morning, good Friday. It's 24 degrees here, man, in Dallas, Texas. 24 degrees, it's cold. And I'm getting started, about to go work out. About to get that sweat in. Uh, try not to get sick. But yeah, let's jump into it. I was looking at this clip, this video clip, of Steve Harvey talking to a few women on this panel. I think the show was called Straight Talk. And they were talking about lying, particularly about men lying to women. And the women spoke on their interpretation of lying and uh, different types of lying, white lie, red lie, black lie. And when they got through speaking, Steve basically said, man, this is BS. There's uh, justified reasons for men to lie to women. There's, there's a, definitely, it should be okay to lie to women to keep the peace, to uh, to not deal with the aftermath, the feelings being hurt, things like that. And I gotta disagree. I gotta disagree, and and I'll break it down. Uh, I'm disagreeing because let me tell you, fellas, lying really is an immature thing, man. It's a boyish thing, and uh, do women uh, as a whole? Does the typical woman as a whole make it easy to tell the truth? No. But regardless of how, you know, her behavior is and how she responds or will respond, you know, I can't let that dictate, you know, the way I live and my principles and scruples. So I would say make it a habit of telling the truth. Now, will I say always tell the truth? No, and I'll break that down in, in a few minutes, but make it a habit. And what you're doing, man, when you get into the habit of telling the truth to your woman, uh, is you start molding her mind a certain way. You start molding her mind to have, uh, to have a form that's solid. Man, when you lie, you start molding her mind to live in delusion. Yeah, actually, you're making her weaker. But when you uh, start telling the truth and get in the habit of telling the truth, you start molding her to be firm. And, you know, this is how I think. I've always thought this way. Uh, I, I think this is because of the way I grew up. I always think in terms of, even with my kids, am I preparing you to live a life, a good life, or am I preparing you to be to uh, being able to survive and thrive if I should die today? If I should die today, can you survive? Can you thrive? Can you flourish if I should die today? So I want you to think about that, fellas. If you was to die today, man, how strong is your, your woman's mind? How solid, how firm is her mind? You know, what have you molded? Uh, because tomorrow's not promised. And you may say, hey, man, I, I really don't care. You know, I really, I really don't care. I'm gone. You know, I, I think differently. But you're putting your, yourself in a situation, even if you do live, you know, to be a long old age and you got to stay together, you're putting yourself in a situation where you're suppressing a lot. And you got to keep that up. You know, the longer you go with that mood in her mind and that in that frame and that direction, you got to keep that up. And it's hard to switch up. It's hard to say, you know what? I'm tired of this. I need to start being more honest because I don't want to keep this up. This woman is in delusion. So therefore, I got to live in delusion. Man, when you get 5, 10, 15, 20 years in and you want to make a change, it's very difficult. And there's going to be a lot of resistance. Uh, yeah, they're going to wonder what, what's up with the change. Basically, man, it used to, used to be this way. And now you're direct and honest. You know, And I think a lot of times women know they're being lied to. But I would say, fellas, don't, don't fall for it. You know, don't fall for it. Uh, now, speaking of myself, uh, I've never been a guy who uh, practiced 
lying straight up. And this is what I'm going to get to, being a straight up liar, uh, a falsifier, you know. That means adding stuff or telling things that are just a lie, a straight up lie, uh, falsifying information, you know, bearing false witness. That's never been my thing. Uh, I never bear false witness, but have I falsified this total straight up lie? Of course, in my lifetime with, with, with spouses, yes, but uh, or mates, but that's never been my thing. I'll tell you my thing, and I used to justify this. My thing was omission, omission or concealment. That means not telling the whole truth, leaving stuff out. That was my thing, and I would leave that. I would, I would justify that too, and I would justify it for reasons of I didn't feel like the person could handle the whole truth, and not necessarily saying I was in the wrong or I did something wrong. It just you know, maybe with someone else or just life. Period. You know, the trust wasn't built. I felt like you could handle everything. And I would justify lying. But that's wrong, too. And like I stated, what I was doing, man, I was molding uh, uh, these, these women to be weak, to be fragile. And, <clears throat> of course, you want your woman, uh, you know, tender, you know, feminine, of course. But you don't want her fragile. You don't want her delusional uh, where she can't handle you know, the uh, ebbs and flows of life, real life. You've kind of sheltered her from that. And brothers, I've seen this happen on a couple of occasions where men have uh, shielded women from from life. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're in this fantasy land and the man dies, the man dies and the woman is lost. I've seen this a couple of times, man, where the man dies, the woman is lost. And now she has to deal with real life, real life, and she's not prepared. Brother, you never want to be in that position where your woman, where your kids are not prepared for real life. Because this life, this world is straight up honest, brutal, right? And you got her in a fantasy land. You know, it's just not cool. But like I said, man, lying itself is childish. You know, it's a childish thing. It's an immature thing. Um. Uh, and it's a, it's a, sometimes it's a lack of faith and you want to control the outcome. You want to control the narrative. And, and what you're doing is you're manipulating uh, and steering someone's mind, you know, because you want to control the narrative or what they buy. You're controlling what you're selling. You're controlling what that person is buying. It's an immature thing. And uh, we, we really got to get out of that. And so, yeah, it might hurt her feelings, but it's all about delivery, too. You know, it's all about delivery, how you uh, deliver that information. And, um, yeah, deliver in love, man. Be straight, but deliver in love. And, you know, uh, you got to have some charisma, man. When You can say a lot. You can say a lot, bro. If you have charisma and you know how to speak and deliver stuff, you can get away with a lot. But it'll be taken seriously. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's you know it's a it's a, uh, it's a it's a thing, man. Where you know it takes. I guess if it doesn't come natural, it, it takes practice. Now, what I say, always aside aside from being in a relationship, just in life. Period. What I say, always tell the truth. Always, no matter what. Listen, man, uh, I'm conflicted with that because to lie is to trick, cheat, you know, manipulate. Uh, but I would say there are some righteous lies. And you guys can comment, of course, and, and let me know what you think. I say there are righteous lies. Now, righteous lie to me is... When I'm on the path of righteousness, I'm on the path of righteousness. Uh, you know, I'm not in any um, uh, situation that's unlawful, unmoral, anything like that. I'm on the path of righteousness. Now, unrighteousness comes into my life, right? It comes to my life. An unrighteous person comes into my life and they're meant to do harm. 
steal, cheat, manipulate, uh, kill. They're, they're meant to do harm. Unrighteousness says this person or the system. And uh, I'm on the path of righteousness. I think it's okay to lie to an unrighteous person or an unrighteous system. I think it is. Uh, for the sake of righteousness. Case in point. Let's say uh, I'm being robbed. I get robbed or I get held at gunpoint outside of my home. And my family is in the inside. And these guys who are holding me at gunpoint say, uh, is anyone inside? I got a choice. Uh, I can say no, I can say yay. Um, right you know I don't want them to go in the house with my kids and my family so it's best I lie whatever way that is to lie to keep them from going in my home I have to lie I've had I've seen people not personally uh, but on, on the news or something on TV uh, I've seen people fake heart attacks I've seen people fake strokes when they came into contact with an unrighteous person. Uh, you know, if you come to me, and it, it doesn't even have to be an unrighteous person I come in contact with, really, as I'm thinking about it. Listen, if I have a friend, <laughs> right? If I have a friend uh, that told me, uh, they got their income tax check, the income tax return. They told me this. Now they owed another friend money and they told this other friend that they would pay them when they got their income tax return. The other friend that's owed comes to me and goes, hey, did Tim get his income tax return? Now, should I tell the truth? Like, should I tell the truth? What I'm going to say, there's two things, either two things I'm going to do. I'm not going to address the question. Yeah, I act like I didn't even hear it, right? Or I'm going to say, bro, that's none of my business. Now, I didn't necessarily lie, but I did deflect and I did kind of manipulate your mind to go in another direction. Uh, I didn't tell the truth. So I do believe... Uh, you know, there are situations where, where you know, you can lie. There's a righteous lie or the, uh, a righteous deflection or a righteous concealment or a righteous omission. The problem with that is, though, you're going to have so many different takes and so many different people saying, oh, man, this is a righteous lie. You know, saying, like, I did this out of righteousness. That's the tricky part about it. You know, like. Come on, man, that, that, that wasn't righteous. But I go on motives, motives. There's people in the Bible, you know, the Bible clearly says, and, and, and again, man, this isn't a religious channel. And I don't get caught up into if the Bible's real or allegory. I go on the stories, and can I relate to the stories? Can the world, the world I see, the people I see, relate to these stories? And I, I say yes, but this is not a religious channel. Uh, but I do refer to the Bible a lot. Because I, I think it's a good blueprint. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a religious person. Uh, I am spiritual, but I'm not a religious person. Uh, but the Bible clearly says, uh, you know, not to lie, not to false, not to be a bear, bear a false witness, not to be a false witness. Uh, in, in in Psalms or, or Proverbs, Proverbs talks about the lying tongue. So it clearly says that. But throughout the Bible, there are situations where people have lied. You know, uh, the prostitute lied about the spies. You know, about the spies, uh, the spies uh, within the Israelites. They were spying. She lied for them. She hid them and lied for them. Righteous. They were on the path of righteousness. They were on the side of God. You know, we, we could say, according to the Bible. Uh, and she lied for them. Was she wrong for lying, for 
for hiding them, for lying about where they were, their whereabouts. Was she wrong? You know, the righteous lie. But like I said, the problem with that is, man, you're going to have so many people saying they lied righteously. And you know, man, their motives was not to go in the direction of righteousness or to protect righteousness. That's what it's all about, really, man, with the heart issue. What is your motive? Like, what is really your motive? And, and when we get past, when we get through the motive and on the other end, the outcome, you know, what was it? What was it? Was it about greed? Was it about uh, insecurity, uh, manipulation uh, for selfish reasons, right? Uh, was, was it about fear? Or, or was it about to protect righteousness? You know, it's about motives, brother. So, yeah, I, I got to disagree with Steve uh, for the most part. And he didn't break it down like me. He was just saying, basically, it's okay to lie to women, period, uh, to protect their feelings. And I disagree. Man, don't worry about protecting their feelings. You know, tell the truth. Uh, mold them properly move their minds properly man it's gonna pay off at the end and uh man you just gotta grow up you gotta grow up man you gotta be a man about it you know she'll get used to it she'll adapt she'll either adapt or you know skedaddle but either way it's gonna be all good for you at the end so hey as always from me to you love peace